an enormous, energetic outreach program. We don't want people to come to the government. We want to come to people. And we are not afraid of doing this because we know our policies are oriented around the development and advancement of every guy in this. That is why we can face the problem. That is why we want to face the problem. Yes. Because fundamentally, we are pursuing an agenda for the upliftment of every guy in this. That is why we went to stand, we went to people, and we didn't look for a favorable comment, although there were many tremendous who were there. But we asked people what their problems were. We asked them what difficulties they have. Because we want to be a government that is connected to the real issue, the real problem. And many people in this market, despite the public fostering of some, who, by the way, consider themselves to be part of the intellectual class, understand the reality that we face globally. They understand the issue of fuel prices, issues around the war, they understand the, the uh, logistics chain crisis. So, they are not naive and they understand what the government is doing. But they too had recommendations. Many people spoke about interventions that would enhance disposable income. Minister of Finance was there. So this is what we are building off of in the government. Enhancing disposable income. And then of course in huge markets like these you have the difficulty. It's a chicken and egg scenario. The road has to be done, but the vendors are on the road. There is an existing market, vendors are outside of the market, the market, the people inside are suffering. So, as a Guyanese family, you have to come up with a common solution. And that common solution has to be among, around a shared interest, shared responsibility, and shared benefit. And that is why Minister Indar, Minister Priya, Minister Onej, Minister Ashni will be coming back here next week to meet with all the stakeholders. Because we want to propose one huge tarmac. One huge tarmac and bring everyone on the tarmac and then develop the infrastructure around the tarmac. That is the proposition we have made. On the surface, or if you want to say it's desktop review, but this is a market top review. <laughs> At the market top review, I can use that, right, Anish? Yes. At the market top review, people seem inclined to this as a solution. So the ministers, the region, they're going to come back here to look at this. <laughs> Minister Anish also had a great opportunity at understanding the market perspective in terms of commerce, but more importantly, She's working on a brilliant initiative of bringing our Goldsmith together across the country. And we're investing in creating a, a terminal in a gold shop, gold market in Barbados, where the cruise ships will come in. So she's working now. Next week she'll come here to have a meeting with all, uh, because this region produces a lot of skilled people in, in this uh, sector and to bring them together to see how we can help them to be part of that initiative. Many times government has brilliant initiatives, but unless we are able to connect people with those initiatives, unless we are able to bring people along with the initiative and understand from their perspective, their interpretation of the initiatives and so on, then I think you will not get the full results or the full benefit of good policies. So I'm very happy that the cabinet is here and you'll see a lot of this and I, I, I'm very proud of the cabinet. As president, I could not have asked for a better team. They are hardworking people. They are out there on the ground every single day. And they are not thin-skinned. They take criticism. It's difficult. I know Priya was in this market before, in that, the regional officials were in this market. And they came on the heavy attack. Not because of a policy of government, but because of scenario in terms of the management of the market. We are committed to making a difference. All, all of Ghana, all of us must be committed to this process. So in advancement of that bottom-up approach to government, that is policy informed by reality on the ground, we are going to be 
building a stronger society and an economy that is sustainable. From here, we've been able also to understand the complexities of the market. There are some things in Georgetown that are very expensive, but they're relatively very much cheaper here. I mean, you get a pineapple for a decent sized pineapple for $300, there are pineapples for $100. But what I saw here is something amazing in the Guyanese spirit. When you speak to the farmers directly, you hear them saying to you how they're trying to maintain the price. They're not trying to increase the price. And they have difficulties. The price of fertilizer, Minister Todd, where is Minister Todd? Is working on an initiative right now. We have been uh, talking to Morocco for a while now to see if we can directly engage them on the issue of fertilizer. We are having some headways now. By July, we should have some, some positive news. So all of that is to support this, uh, the bedrock of our society, the people on the ground, the small and medium-sized enterprises. And that is a tremendous focus from Minister of Age, the Minister of Finance, focusing on the small and medium-sized enterprises. The region has been doing a good job connecting to people and reaching out. But the administration and the public service has to come along. We have to change the attitude. And we cannot be lawmakers in a chair anymore. The society requires something that is different. They want to feel connected. They want to feel a part of. We have the Aquaforia, for example. They want to see these officials on the ground, connect with them, talk to them, be able to interact with them. And that is what we're encouraging. And that is, I think, the mole that will take us forward. Thank you. I don't know if anyone would have been so far to say.